Hey, orange one here. So we are playing Curse of the Dead Gods. This game, oh man, it's so good. It's amazing. It's this early access roguelike game. Let's go ahead and just kind of dive into it. Um, basically, it's very simple roguelike. You're going into this dungeon. The further you go, the harder it gets. And there's some aspects of perks that you can select at the beginning of the game. I'm going to actually, just because this run, um, it, I was actually doing quite well, but it's fine. I want to show you it from the beginning so you can kind of see the selection and, and how the game works. So basically, here we've got a couple different perks that we can select. You can buy these perks with, um, if you look in the upper left hand corner, um, there's those skulls. I don't have a mouse, unfortunately, right now to show you. There's those skulls, and you can use those skulls to buy some of these perks. So you can, like, I could spend five to unlock that, or spend ten to unlock that. I've got a couple of perks that I've, I like, and I was just playing around with this, and it seems like a really nice combo. These are both pretty expensive perks. I've also won two victories, and so I've, I've got the access to, like, having two perks and having some some pretty cool perks. I haven't really used Divine Favors and I've never really felt like that was necessary. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Uh, we kind of do medium exploration. I beat this and the Serpent Temple. It just changes the temple a little bit. There's like different traps, different enemies if you do the types. I think Jaguar is the base game um, originally and then they like kind of tweaked it a little bit. And so basically, you can, there's, there's like, gold, and so we're going to a gold room, and oh yeah, by the way, this is the layout of the map, so there's the first champion, and there's an even tougher second champion, and you can select which rooms you go down, and so there's some kind of, it's kind of like, um, whatchamacallit, Yep, and so you can kind of dodge like that. So these guys are kind of... So you can see that I'm getting greed kills right now. So if you kill people within a certain amount of time, you can get these things called greed kills. I'm gonna also... So A is like basically... You can see in the lower left hand corner is my fire. X is my sword. And then I've got a little gun. And you can... Switch these out with different items. Like, there's all kinds of different items you can get, and then different, like, pennants and curses that you can get, and the curses, like, change essentially how the game plays. If you know, like, Cataclysm, it's like the mutation trees, um, but you don't have control over it. It's very random, so you can be trying to build in one way, and then it's just not gonna work out. I'm pretty good at this, at this point in the game. Like, the early game is not that difficult. Now, usually, later on in the game, you gotta be a little bit more careful with, with uh, looking out for those weak spots because you usually have to kind of lure an enemy, but early on, it's not that bad. And then you can do all kinds of stuff. Oh, you got me. That's the first hit. So you can kind of stun them this way, and then there's like certain special attacks basically. And then like you can, yeah, do kind of all kinds of special lineups. Okay, so we've got a gun there, a cone behind, oh cool, so if I do something like that and that hits, then it like, it fragments off. Okay, so it's not that much better than what we originally had. It has a kind of interesting special ability. Okay, we got a little bit of gold here, but it's it's a trap, basically. They're trying to get me to go onto these. So if you step on these, spikes come out. So you gotta like dodge them out. So the right trigger lets you do that little uh, dodge. Left trigger is prairie. I'm not very good at praying. I think that's really what separates me from people who are actually good at this game. To be honest, is like praying. 
Like I can prairie sometimes, but not like consistently. But I'm gonna just build up some gold so that we can use that instead of corruption. Because you, there's little things. Okay, ah, check that out. Oh, we got some corruption here. We got a double kill. Yeah, I kinda like that. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh yeah, there's also environmental things. Oh, that guy almost got me. Let's check, check this out. Yeah, check that out. Isn't that cool? And then there's also like things like environmental fire effects that you can take advantage of. All kinds of cool things. Yeah, guys. Okay. Anything else? Any other enemies around? No. Okay. Yeah. You want to be quick also with killing the enemies because if you can, can get that greed counter up, you can do some pretty good stuff. Oh, look. There's. Oh, cool. So now we got our first two-handed weapon, and it's a fire weapon. So that's gonna give us fire attacks. Oh man, I probably should have picked that up. I was just kind of in such a frenzy, I didn't even see it drop. <laughs> okay, there's also... Yeah, okay, good. There's something here. There's... Down below there was not Oh man. Um, the fire one's better. Fire damage is a really nice effect. Um, I could get a relic here. Or I could go for more gold. Let's go for the relic. I don't know what the mystery is. But I... I think we've got enough cash to get some relics. And we might be able to get some stuff before it as well. Uh, smart. Okay, um... I think this is gonna lead... Yeah, I don't want to go there because that's gonna cut me off. And then I can do that. And I can come up here. And I think that that will probably pay off. So... Like, and check that out, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was insane. See, if you can get like those kills and you can like, oh no, there's, ah, uh, that's a shame. This doesn't do it, does it? Oh, it does. Oh, sweet. I, I can unlock those with that. I did not realize that. I just learned a new mechanic about this game. I like that a lot. Like, a whole lot. Okay, we're doing okay. I think if I can, I can keep the ball rolling, this run could be a decent run. Now, I don't think there's going to be anything in there. Yeah, there's not really much. Yeah, as you can tell, a lot of this is randomly generated, and it's done so very well. Yeah, that that weapon is just brutal. Oh my gosh! Okay, and. I just wanted to get the kill quickly there. Um, it's the same weapon. It's literally the same thing. That doesn't happen very often. That's very shocking. I actually haven't seen that really. Okay, so we do have some gold to spend. We got this thing. So we can offer gold because we have enough gold. So you can see the gold cost and the corruption cost. Usually, if you can get gold, you should. That seems like a pretty nice way of getting our health up and maintaining pretty high health. Sure, it'll give us more constitution as well, which will give us higher maximum health as well. Okay, so we've essentially secured our health regeneration. We are corrupted though, so we got our first effect. Nice. So in the lower right hand corner, it, it keeps track of your corruption. Oh, okay. Um, Plus 10 damage in the light, that's perfect because we've got a fire weapon. But we really don't want to be in the dark, which is probably going to be a fair amount. Okay, yeah, that, that is such a nice weapon. Jeez, I almost messed myself up there. But as long as we're smart about this, 
Any others? Yep, there's others. Okay, sweet. Okay, that was pretty good. Let's see, is there any more? I think there might be. Okay, check this, this heavy out. Yep, there we go. We want to be careful of that guy. So we gotta get this guy. Okay, there we go. We got that guy. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we, we did take some damage there. Okay, but we got a pretty good greed roll there. Let's see what we got in gold treasure troves. Oh, fire attacks. Yeah, okay, so that's basically what we're gonna build towards. So you can see this is very much like um, like other roguelikes where you just kind of see what you get and then you gotta adjust your build. Um, I'm terrible at prairie. I mean, that gives me more damage in the darkness. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we could try and do some parry, but you have to have it out, which is kind of gonna be annoying. Because I can have that, but then parrying with that, I'm not gonna get the shield benefit. Shielding, shields basically make it easier for you to get some parries. I don't think we're gonna get a whole lot of gold, but if we get a nice chain kill, we might be able to. So that was really nice. See, this is a fun game. It's good to get the combos. And the shield, you can get offhand combos. So if you do like X, X, and you can do stuff like that. Or like you can get all kinds of little combos with your first and secondary weapon. Something to keep in mind. Um. <laughs> Uh, that it, it, we need to be able to get fire on them is the thing. And this is a worse weapon, it says, but I don't know. This seems like it is. This is a noticeable upgrade from the buckler. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's basically because we have we're good with daggers because we have a thing that makes us good with daggers. Sure, let's go for that. Kind of works with our build. It's a fun one, and it's it's just really nicely done graphically. Like you know, like the it controls really nicely. The download file size is tiny. Um, the one thing is is that if your controller disconnects, like mine was doing for a while because my battery was low, it's very likely to crash, and then you lose your save file or your save game um, of progress for that. Up to that point. Okay, so that is a very nice, very effective. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay. Oh man, that felt pretty good to do. That's a pretty good combo. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Yeah, no, definitely not going to take that. That's way worse than what I currently have. And hey, another, another crystal skull. Yeah, I, lo I love that, being able to do that. That's so cool. I don't know if you can do that if you have the other items. Oh yeah, you can also use those to blow up the other ones if you want to. I've also been doing a nice job of managing our... Um, Okay, 
I was about to say, did I just destroy that chest? <laughs> uh, what do we have here? Ah, uh, it's pretty good. It's actually pretty dang good being able to reflect damage when you priori. I just, again, I'm not very good at it, so myself, I'm not gonna go for it. Oh man, that, uh, that would have been nice if I didn't have already a much better item in that slot. It's part of it, right? That didn't lock down. Or that. That's. Okay. This is the end of it. So it basically isn't gonna lock me out of the end. Relic, weapon, or attributes. So I think we want attributes. I'm not sure what's the difference between the relic and the weapon, to be completely honest. Okay. Um. We'll keep on going. Now I'm curious, I don't think that, yeah, I was just curious if there possibly was things hidden like that. Okay, I'm gonna go and jump on. Oh my gosh, that was, that was pretty quick. <laughs> oh man, brutal. So this right here. Um, that's a pretty nice one, but it's, again, not as good as what we got. It's, yeah, not much. And this, yeah, sometimes this would will have something behind it, but it doesn't look like that's the case. <laughs> I can just take out the traps like that, too. Cool. Well, it's nice having, like, a mega super powerful weapon. Also, some of the times the corruption points make all of these things fire whenever you walk in front of them, so that hallway would be not fun. It'd be really not fun. Okay, there we go. That's good. Or like sometimes there's corruption things that change how often those things fire, and or they make them periodically fire, so it's not like touch sensitive. It's just like always going. That was close. Okay, there we go. The last little da dagger combo there. See, those are fun. Those are super fun. Okay, there's nothing here, unfortunately. Nothing for us to play with. Okay, there's this, though. This is the, uh, the room that will have the actual good stuff. Okay, yeah, and we can afford to get the... Really gonna be helpful for us later on after this boss. I actually almost got this through this boss undamaged last time. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it this time. It was I I think that this guy's got very predictable attack. So it's actually not that hard to mess up these guys pretty bad. I save and then I get attacked by this guy. Got another one for me? Yeah, there we go. Okay, this guy's actually messed me up a number of times there. He's, he's getting me pretty nasty, actually. Damn, you be able to dodge. Yep. Oh, dang it, I thought it was... I guess not. Okay, I, I need to be a little more cautious. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, no. Okay, this is actually... ...scaring me a little bit. I need to, I need to just... Okay. Yep, yeah, he's getting just... Got more for me like that? There we go. Man, I totally messed that up pretty bad. That guy really got way too many hits on me. I'm gonna be paying for that later. Because now I'm gonna... Well, actually... I've never gone this far and not cursed. This has a chance to do fire damage. Um, but it does way more base damage. And the charge attack weakens, and weakened, I think, is something that we can really take advantage of. Oh, wow. 
Um, that also is a really nice artifact. I'll take that too. Cool. All right. Well, we really need to get more health. So, <laughs> um, but nah. We're going. We're going in like this. We're doing it. I have like no corruption. I only got one curse. I'm pretty sure that I can handle this. Yep, flamethrowers now automatically activate, so I need to be careful with that. And the keys are explosive now. Oh, that's that up. so bad. I mean, that was... took us a little bit longer. I kind of like having the flame attack every time, but whatever. I think we're okay. I think I just need to make sure that we don't take damage. And we're okay. And with our corruption level, we're okay. Oh, these guys are down to... Oh, jeez. Oh, god. Oh, jeez. Oh, god. No! Corruption. The corruption. Okay, well, I might as well get the gold. I'm almost dead. I'm gonna need it, at least. Maybe I should have gone for the health. Maybe if I get another opportunity to go for health, I should do that. Probably. Yeah. So it's like, take your time, right? Um, oh, that's moderately better than what we have. So I'll take it. Um, yeah, now we, we're kind of in a sticky situation here. Unless we can find other ways of generating health in the map. This is gonna be expect that to end that sudden. Well, I think that that's a pretty good point to end it here. I mean, I could try and do a little run, but you're going to see mostly what I've already shown you. Um, the second boss is pretty cool. It's a shame I couldn't get there. In any case, this is a curse of... I think it's the dead gods, right? I'm going to exit out. Yeah, curse of the dead gods. Awesome, awesome roguelike. Has a lot of cool items, a lot of cool effects, really great art design. Check it out. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.